why make art? When our oldest two kids were younger and still at home, and we had all six of them running around the house making life both crazy and interesting, every once in a while, in a frazzled moment, my husband or I would look at each other wild-eyed and shout in our best George Bailey voice, Why do we have to have all these kids anyway? It's from a terrible moment in It's a Wonderful Life when things have taken an awful turn for George and everything's going wrong and the poor man is out of his mind with worry and his kids are all over the place fussing and asking questions that he blurts this line out. And the first time Sean and I watched the movie after having a house full of little kids ourselves, we both laughed aloud at the trueness of that moment. That one line captures it all and is simultaneously a ridiculous thing to say because, as every loving parent knows, while you may honestly feel that way in brief interludes, you wouldn't change a thing. Every little person is supposed to be here, and you wouldn't have it any other way. Strangely, making art is the same way. When life is overwhelming and not going as it should, and there are demands pulling at you from every direction, the idea of pursuing your art, of writing a poem or a novel, or painting a pretty picture or a not pretty picture, seems ludicrous and absurd. You may find yourself thinking, why do I have to make all this art anyway? And really, the answer is simple. To have the full life you long for, to have the happy moments, to set everything in its proper order, you can't have it any other way. You make art because it's inside of you and it wants to be made. You are an artist and art makes you feel alive and brings you joy and purpose. Accept nothing less for yourself.